Hey, it's the French student here, and today we're going to be continuing with some JavaFX UI design. So, in the last episode, I created a very simple program, which has some background colors, some buttons with some different colors, a button with some text, some def text with some different colors. And today we're going to be creating some new buttons that's going to be a bit more interesting. So, these buttons don't really do much, and you can't really see whenever you hover over them or when you click on buttons or anything. And today we're going to be using CSS to create some better looking buttons, or at least more responsive buttons that feels better to click. <laughs> or definitely more satisfying than these, because when you click these, nothing happens. So first, let's have a look at the uh, FXML. So this is the program we created last time, some buttons in the VBox and some random panes. But last time we just changed the individual button with some style and added some background color. Today we're going to be using a style sheet. So I already created a CSS document, which you just simply create by doing new file, anything like test.css, and you create a CSS document. It kind of just works like any other text editor, but what happens is we would use like a dot to create a variable, kinda. So this is like a dot button which is going to be a style class. And then for button, just a basic button, we're going to add some background color and we're going to change the radius of the corners, which I'll be showcasing just soon what it actually looks like. Then I'm going to be adding at that button hover mode, which is going to be, have a lighter color and a dot button pressed mode. It's going to just have the same color as the normal button. So what we can do is if we remove these buttons and we add a new button and we inside this button use the style sheets and then get the CSS style sheet from my uh, program. And as you can see, it's already added that it's the button class because it's the only thing we have right now. But otherwise you'd have to choose the style class button. And let's make it a bit bigger. And actually, because of what I talked about previously with round edges, it's these because we're gonna make it kind of like like it's uh, like it's coming from the side. Like that. Let's make it a bit bigger. Getting it to fit is always a bit tricky. There we go, let's try saving it and let's run again. So now we have a bit more responsive button whenever we hover over, which is this mode. So we have the normal mode, which is the color in the background. Whenever we hover over, we change the color. So as you can see, the button feel a bit more responsive. And again, when we click it, it changes color as well. Let's create a few more buttons. So let's make it a bit smaller. Here we go. And next to make it a bit wider as well. So what I'm going to be doing is just simply duplicating, creating a few of them and save. And now we have all these buttons and it just feel way better now. Definitely way better. So that's pretty much the basics of creating a CSS style class where we have like a, just a basic mode, a hover mode, and a press mode. And then we just inside our scene builder, just simply add it as a style sheet and choose the specific style class. So what this also allows us to do is we can install inside the same style sheet at different style classes. So for example, we could also add maybe like a dot button one, for example, which would have some different uh, colors and radiuses and stuff. But this is pretty much the basics of creating a CSS file, which we will use as a style sheet inside scene builder to add some buttons where we have some different colors, where we hover over them and when they are pressed. And we can just gonna, gonna continue using CSS 
in the next episodes to create some more fancy and cool elements. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.